Hey there guys and welcome to Kyle Reviews. Today I'm taking a look at a vape device uh, instead of some normal tech. I've not done a vape device for a while, but here we go. Uh, I'm taking a look at the new Vapresso Eco Nano Pod Kit. And it's a bit of a doozy of a kit, I love it. Bang for buck device, hits nicely. So just so you can see on the image on my laptop, there is a good few uh, colors. Uh, there are some that have a rubberized plastic coating, some are anodized metal finish and some are just funky looking. So you've got a good amount of choice there uh, and normally have a six mil pod on top. Now, when you buy it brand new, it's in a very small box like this, very simple. Uh, it's just the pod and the instructions. It's USB-C charged, but there's no C cable in this this time. But everyone's got a USB-C cable these days. If you haven't, you can pick one on dirt cheap from your local shop. So that's neither here nor there. Uh, on the back, I'll just read some info to you whilst you just look at my uh, fancy yellow one. So it's a 1000 milliamp hour battery, basically for a pod that's an all day battery, which is good. Um, the original pod capacity, by the way, on a brand new one is two mil, at least in the UK. But when you buy a new pod, it's not two mil, it's six mil. So you're fine after that anyway. Uh, we recommend you charge this up with a Type-C one amp power supply. The resistance for the pods you can get a 0.8, which is the one I like, or a more restrictive 1.2. So it depends on which one you like. If you like the 0.8, more flavor, more power, you can get that. If you prefer restrictive, a little less of a hit and flavor, then go for the 1.2. Absolutely fine. Uh, and that's it. That's it really. There's nothing too much, you know, about this device. So just to show you, a couple of opened brand new ones. These are filled. Let's get rid of this filled inside the pod with a rubber bung so that makes it two mil uh, that's just restricted the fill capacity but once you've used this up once it's burnt out you know you can just chuck the pod away get the new six mil one i have no rubberized fill in there and you just got you know room for days for liquid in there it's amazing on the bottom is where you find the type c charge port with the name 1000 milliamp hour battery size and the uk regulatory stamps if you're in the uk and just to show you a slight difference, there's your anodized metal one on the left. And then this is your sort of rubberized plastic coated one. So there's a different feel for everyone. If you like the cold hard metal, it feels more premium cool. If you like it more subtle and smooth in the hand, you know, less cold as well, go for the rubberized one. And there's different colors in both. For me, I just went for the unique jazzy one because why not? It's in your face scream. I love that. <laughs> so this is my personal device. So so you can see, full port is on the bottom. And that's a really well made rubber grommet. It really seals up the hole so you don't have to worry about any leaking when this is in there, I don't think ever. It slaps in there very nicely and strongly with uh, good magnets. And it's just auto draw activated. There is no buttons. You just fill and go. I mean, you got to fill, wait for five minutes on a new pod and then go. But if you've already used the pod and you're just refilling it, then yeah, fill and go. Uh, as you can see, I prefer the 0 0.8, but there is the 1.2 available too. And it's just nice in the hand. Um, compared to those thin, long ones that people like. So here, to one side, I have the Sonda Q with no pod, obviously. But some people like those long, thin ones. It feels a bit smaller in the hand. Um, this still feels really good because even though it is wider, it's shorter. So it still feels small. Great to just play with in the hand if you're a fidgeter. Great for your bag and pocket. Um, I wouldn't say it's too too uh, thick on it either. It's just a nice size, not too bad. Flavor and hit, I can tell you already, is really, really nice. Um, I've just used this, well, for the day, really. This is my first, first fill, by the way, and it is amazing. Now, this is how slowly this liquid capacity will go down. I got this around 9 a.m. It's been the only device I've vaped on it so far, and it's now 1 p.m. And so that's how much it's gone down. I've not refilled that yet, I do promise you. That's, that's how much of a bubble has been created. This is going to last ages. From 9 until 1 p.m., that's all I've used up because I did fill it completely. Amazing. Six mil capacity. Cheap and cheerful. Great flavor, great hit. What more could you want? Um, is there anything else you want to know about this device? Please let me know in the comments. Um, please like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this very quick review. Uh, this review has been dead easy because it's a simple device and um, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one